So, good afternoon, dear colleagues. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you very well. We cannot see your slides yet, but uh, I hope that soon they will be visible. Dear Georgi Ivanovich and Gior Grigory Vladimirovich, uh, thank you very much for inviting me here. And uh, uh, thank you for an opportunity to speak uh, at a Congress that I have um, a tradition of uh, taking part in. So I would like to talk about uh, total replacement uh, in oncovertebrology. Traditionally, I would like to say approximately 95-96% the spine is, has metastatic lesions in it. The primary tumors are not many. Usually, they account only for 4%. The uh, favorite localization is the thoracic spine, a lumbar spine also can be affected and 10% approximately cervical spine. The vertebral metastases, as a matter of fact, in 10% of oncology patients occur uh, and uh, up to 20% of all these metastases, they compress the bone marrow and uh, result in neurological symptoms. And first and foremost, uh, the uh, result from the uh, breast cancer in women, prostate cancer in men, and the third is uh, lung cancer and renal cancer. So the principles of surgical treatment, they are multiple and quite complex. They are multidisciplinary, and as a matter of fact, it includes at least three components, neurosurgical, orthopedic, and oncological. Neurosurgical principle is the principle of uh, complete compression of bone marrow, and uh, it's decompression. And um, first of all, it uh, sets the conditions for it sets the conditions for uh, the patient to care about himself or herself and uh, receive further treatment. So, um, orthopedic is uh, related to stabilization, and oncological is the principle of radicality or the maximum possible removal at the level of the um, just um, impaired vertebra. So the favorite metastasis is the posterior part of the body. Uh, and less frequent, you have posterior uh, spines affected. So very frequently, we are asked a question, what? We have been using a ventral spondylosis. Uh, allotransplants, and uh, why do we need something new? But we have certain disadvantages which do not uh, do, do not comply with the oncological principles, first and foremost. They can be used in traumatology, but in oncovertebrology, the methods of enteral spondylar disease or other transplants, they are not applicable because of the dislocations, sublocations, uh, loosening, and uh, uh, also um, uh, problems with spontular disease, uh, problems with the um, fixation. Uh, so our uh, patients, uh, so it's just corset uh, wearing of corsets, and uh, it uh, also restricts the uh, opportunities of radiotherapy and also problems related to surgical interventions. So starting from the re uh, previous year, uh, previous century, excuse me, uh, there are different metallic structures in vent in ventral, uh, for ventral stabilization, both uh, metal ones, for example, this is one of the early metal implants, which allowed us to stabilize the patients in the early uh, period and uh, to start the very active uh, anti-tumor treatment. Uh, now, anatomical malformations of the thoracic um, and lumbar spine uh, allow us to do the surgical approach from the right and from the left, taking into account the te technical just uh, details. But generally speaking, the uh, intervention itself is well standardized. It either depends on the uh, side of the lesion or uh, whether it is uh, TH11, uh, then it is, uh, uh, and if it is in the lumbar spine, then it's going to be 
So and clovert uh, technique can also be used depending on where the, it is localized. Uh, so we analyzed 32 patients, uh, surgical treatment and uh, removal of tumor, as well as the total uh, replacement of the main diagnosis in these patients was myeloma, sarcoma, hardoma. And in 23 patients, that was metastasis of colorectal cancer, breast cancer, and renal cancer. The length of this uh, uh, surgery uh, counted for 1.5 hours, up to three hours. So for surgical treatment, we selected patients first and foremost with manifested pain syndrome. This is 69% and minimal neurological deficiency. More to that, for total replacement, we selected patients with a minimal number of metastases, up to three. Uh, a non-disseminated process for us to uh, do the maximum uh, res uh, maximum surgical removal. And at the same time, there was positive dynamics uh, in terms of uh, regression of pain syndrome and in terms of uh, regression of neurological syndrome. Uh, uh, neurological uh, def deficiency uh, in the post-operative uh, period, which were assessed by Franco classification. In our uh, practice, we use and the prosthesis by Med Biotech from the Republic of Belarus, which comes in three possible options. Uh, it's uh, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. It's uh, made from bio inert material, BT1016. And at the moment, it is used in our Republic almost at all the levels of uh, spinal lesions. As a clinical example, I would like to show you a patient uh, with uh, renal metastasis into C3. So after uh, embolization, we removed C3, uh, did the decompression of the bone marrow uh, by means of the C and the C3 and the prosthesis. Chondrosarcoma after subtotal resection, uh, we uh, placed uh, and, uh, and the prosthesis, this is C6 metastasis, removal of the tumor, decompression, and then total replacement at the level of C6. Metastasis of the TH8 of, from the lung, tumor, again, uh, removal of the vertebra, decompression, and uh, also uh, compensation of the vertebra and and the prosthesis of the vertebra as well. Grunwald surgery, when the first stage was resection of the uh, lung apex, uh, partially the vertebra, and the defect is uh, a defect is covered by the endoscopic prosthesis of the vertebra. This is TH10 metastasis from the lung. You can see, again, decompression and the prosthesis, metastasis of the TH10, TH11. Again, in a quite big uh, amount, it allows us to deal with a telescopic and the prosthesis, and we uh, somehow replace two vertebra. Metastasis of the breast cancer. Uh, it's a toracophrenotomy. We performed a uh, removal of the tumor and the um, decompression and, and the prosthesis. This is gistocytosis of uh, L1. Again, and the prosthesis is uh, the cellular uh, liver cancer. A metastasis into the uh, spinal cord. You can see um, into the uh, spine. Uh, we removed the tumor, removed the vertebra, and did the prosthesis. Uh, this is the uh, uterum uh, cancer metastasis into L3, again, um, uh, TH6 metastasis before and after surgery. This is post-operative CT. You can see the end of the scissors and the control of the screws into the uh, in this uh, spine. Now you can see metastasis of the thyroid gland in, into the L3 here. You can see also metastasis of the squam cell carcinoma into the TH post-surgical view. So you can see removal of the tumor, 
and uh, uh, also the cervical and the prosthesis a control of uh, uh, fixation. This is sigmoid um, uh, bowel metastasis into L3 again control. You can see. Uh, in the post-operative uh, image, you can see. So there, are, there were four cases of complications and three cases. It was uh, hemorrhage. These were surgeries with a metastasis of the renal cancer, uh, which allowed blood, which uh, resulted in blood transfusion. And in one case, it was. Uh, damage to the bowel, uh, which previously it was a patient after laparotomy, and there was a very significant adhesion uh, process, which was detected uh, intraoperatively. Uh, the post-operative complications occurred in five patients. Uh, that was um, subluxation of the metal uh, structure and uh, also local progression of uh, tumor which allowed us to do the uh, total um, replacement by titan implant at day 10. Then uh, there was a one purulous uh, process and also infection of the infection and uh, seroma in the area of uh, the uh, surgical wound. In 90% of the patients, we can mark the neurological improvements. And in 96% of cases, uh, improvement in pain syndrome. The combination of endoprosthesis with autoplasty allows us to do the uh, uh, osseal and fibrotic block, which allows us to continue the antitumor treatment. All the patients were verticalized uh, at day two to five uh, post op, and the mean bed day accounted for 10, 12 days. Thus, in conclusion, I would like to say that uh, uh, total replacement can actually uh, uh, allow us to perform spondylar disease in patients with the tumors of the vertebra in order to continue treatment of their uh, primary lesions. Thank you very much.